Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Offstage Live. My name is Byron Stripling, and I'm uh, sitting here playing music, which is uh, my dream to do during these tough times, and we do it for you also. And we hope the music soothes your soul. We hope it lifts you a little bit higher. Like they say, your love is lifting me higher and higher. And uh, we have a couple of, couple quick hellos because here's some people that lifted us higher. First of all, Olivia Riley, thank you for joining. Linda Landis, we love you so much, Linda, and wish you were here with your trombone. Rosemarie Litzing, Litzinger, we love you. You are the biggest jazz fan in the world, always there. And Douglas Fingstag, uh, who says, hi, Bobby. He did not say, hi, Byron. He said, hi, Bobby. Let's just be clear about that. But I have a crush on his mom, Charlene. And we love you guys from uh, uh, the Fingstag family. Uh, I have two amazing musicians standing next to me. On bass, we have the great Andy Woodson. And we love Andy so much. In fact, if you're an aspiring bass player or you've been playing a little bit time, a long time and you want to get better, Andy's the guy to go to. You can just go right to Facebook, look up Andy Woodson, look for a guy with a bass, and you can take some private lessons. You could do like a Zoom lesson with you, something and like that. FaceTime. Zoom and FaceTime, too. So I might be calling you for my bass lesson. So, but if you're interested in that, just message Andy, and he'll he'll he will be there for you. One of the great bass players that you'll ever hear, and, and truly a, a a person we so value here in right in Columbus. Standing next to him, sitting next to him, is the great Bobby Floyd. I'm gonna say it one more time. Bobby Floyd is the way we say it, and we've heard him with everybody from Ray Charles to Dr. John to his own solo performances all over the world. He truly is a star, and Bobby, it's great to have you here and we, we're glad you joined us a little bit and we want to quickly let you know if you are interested in our summer jazz camps now do our jazz camps is that any age group you know like like seventh through twelfth grade if, so it's instrumental and vocal so if I wanted to sing a little bebop could I come in here and so I could do one of those all right, and could or you would would they teach me like standards and things if I wanted to sing? And same thing on a horn. Now, how do I do this? Is that through Zoom? I would I would take those. So I could just go to jazzartsgroup.org, and if I'm like there might be a suggested price, but if I couldn't pay, would you let me in? Any you would? I'm talking about me personally. <laughs> no, but I would have to pay, is what you're saying. But others they pay as you. Like if you can afford it, then we'll work. We'll, we'll work with you. We're we're here to serve everybody because our idea is that we should have kids learning about jazz, and so anybody who wants to do that, so we encourage you to go to jazzartsgroup.org. Pay what you can. Just go to our website, and we look forward to having you there. We have a, an amazingly special, amazing special guest. I first met this guy in. I think the first time I met him was in the lobby of. The what they used to call that theater where we had jazz moves, uh, the 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 Rife. They used to call it the Rife. What do they call it now? It's a, it's the Capitol Theater. I met this guy in the in the lobby, and he was with this guy named Doug Kreidler. And Doug said, "Oh, by the way, Byron, he can sing too." I was like, "No, he can't. He's too pretty to sing." And then they said, "Oh no, he can sing." And I said, "Well, what kind of thing?" And then I heard him, and it's kind of like it's like Chet Baker with Sinatra meets James Taylor. And maybe throwing in a little bit of uh, grease in there, too. If you put a little grease on all top of that, that would be how this guy sounds. Uh, but he was former CEO uh, of Cardinal Health. And maybe we'll get him to talk about that for us. But we want you to hear him sing. And we want you to be inspired by his uh, great sound, the great sound of his voice. Would you please welcome to the stage the great George Barrett right here. I'm gonna love you like nobody's loved you Come rain or come shine High as a mountain and deep as a river Come rain or come shine I guess when you met me It was just one of those things Don't ever bet me 
Cause I'm gonna be true if you let me. You're gonna love me like nobody's loved me, come rain or come shine. Happy together, deep together, won't it be fine? The days may be cloudy or sunny. We're in or out of the money. I'm with you always. I'm with you, rain or shine. You're gonna love me like nobody's loved me, come rain or come shine. Happy together, unhappy together, and won't be fine. The days may be cloudy or sunny, we're in or we're out of the money. I'm with you always, I'm with you rain or shine. Come Rain, Come Shine, and the great George Barrett right there, one of the classic songs from American Songbook. I think that was Harold Arlen, if I'm correct on that one. And George, what do you want to do next? I know you and Bobby have played this next one together before. We did this. Uh, this is called When Sunny Gets Blue, and I don't remember who composed it. Uh, it says here, Marvin Fisher. All right, we're going to go with that. <laughs> it says Mom's Mabley. Should we go with that? <laughs> that's, no, that's not true. What do you think there, Bobby? Should we do this? <laughs> Sunny gets blue. Her eyes grow gray and cloudy. Then the rain begins to fall Pitter-patter, pitter-patter Love is gone, what can matter? No sweet love a man comes to fall When Sunny gets blue She breathes a sigh of sadness When that wind that stirs a tree When that sets the leaves a swaying, like some violins are playing, strange and haunting melodies. People used to love to hear her laugh, see her smile. That's how she got her name. Since that sad affair, she's lost her smile. She's changed her style. Somehow she's not the same. But memories will fade, and pretty dreams will rise up where the other dreams fell through. Hurry, new love, hurry here. To kiss away each lonely tear and hold her near when sunny gets blue. Thank you. 
to love to hear her laugh see her smile that's how she got her Since that sad affair, she's lost her smile, changed her style. Somehow she's not the same. Memories still change, and pretty dreams rise up. Where are the dreams for you? Early new love, hurry here. Kiss this way, my lonely tear, and hold her near when sunny gets blue. Oh, hold her near when sunny gets blue. Beautiful, beautiful, the great. George Barrett with When Sunny Gets Blue. We want to uh, thank uh, Stacy Board for checking us out here from Shadow Box. We love Shadow Box and uh, look forward to going there as soon as they're open and ready to go. And Stacy says, looking and sounding good, guys. Now, I think she's probably talking about me. Yes. 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 But, uh, <laughs> it's, it's evident. But you know, Stacy is going to, uh, and why don't you guys start getting ready for Shenandoah? I think that's that's next. But Stacy is scheduled, and and we're gonna deliver that promise to join us uh, around the Christmas season, and we'll look forward to seeing her. We also wanted to thank all the people that helped us out during um, the big give, and that was amazing what you all did for us during that period of time, and. Um, and throughout the pandemic and COVID, words I had promised not to say, but they're here, we're here, we're amongst it. But our audience has been so helpful in, uh, to us during that period of time, and so many others have helped us. And that's why we stand here today. Otherwise, we would have closed up shop here. But you've uh, really helped us so much during that. Uh, I want George to reach way back. This is like a folk song, right? Yeah, this is sort of a sort of a Americana, but... Uh there are those that think that it was done by the sort of Canadian and American uh, frontier people. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a song about longing, so maybe maybe sort of appropriate in the moment. And, yeah. Uh, so Bobby and I are going to give it And the that. name of it is? Oh, Shenandoah. Oh, Shenandoah, I long to see you. Away, you rolling river, Shenandoah, I long to see you. Away, I'm bound away, or the wide Missouri, Shenandoah. I love your daughter oh, away you rolling river for her I cross your roaming waters away I'm bound away for the wide Missouri. Shenandoah, my native 
Major Valley Shenandoah with the great George Barrett right there. We hope that you appreciate That's one from way back. We used to hear that when I was a kid a lot. And the song I have. I always li I like that one. I like Danny Boy. Those old folk songs like that always do it. So, George, do you have a second to talk to me? I'm just wondering what you've been doing since so you were with Cardinal. But here's what I, I, here's what I can tell people already, that you have not stopped what you've always done, and that's continuing to help people. And I know that through all this, people look to you for questions and things, and you were always there. And then I know that you're singing more. So do you have a second just to sort of share with us what you've been doing uh, during this time? Yeah, so um, it's uh, been an interesting time uh, for me, as it has been for everybody, sort of navigating all this. But um, you know, I've been doing some, some board work and uh, some mentoring. Uh, I'm doing some teaching mm -hmm. um, in the School of Public Health, and I've been trying to do some some policy work mm -hmm. um, with the National Academy of Medicine yeah. and, and here at, at, at Children's Hospital and cool. uh, something called the Solutions for Patient Safety. So trying to wow. stay very involved in, uh, in healthcare issues. But, but at the moment, uh, like everyone else, trying to do what I can to help uh, yeah. make sure that we're in a, in a safe place going forward. This has been a, a tough stretch for, for everyone. So uh, wishing everybody out there health and uh, staying safe. Well, you've, you know, as, as I said, you've continued to help people, but, and also every time I hear from you, it's like, hey, what do you think about this tune? Let's do that one. Let's do this one. That's it. So music is uh, central. People, a lot of people didn't know. Actually, I think a lot of people did know that you were engaged in music always throughout the whole time. I think uh, for some of us, that's the thing that always keeps us sane, sane to have a, a, a song in our heart, as you often do. We should mention we have. Janet Chin, who's uh, listening, and you're talking about mentors. You actually, George, took every arts organization, and you basically mentored us all. You were helping me. You were helping Janet. I know she loves you. Um, Peggy, uh, every, all of us. You just said, hey, if you, I'm here if you need us. And sometimes you just need somebody to talk to. It's like, you're like, George, am I crazy? <laughs> and you're like, no, man. And so, so we want everybody to know that George is always, has always been there for the arts community, and it's your love of great uh, music that does that for us. You, you haven't stopped that. Hello from South Carolina. We have people um, watching. If you're from South Carolina, we love you. From San Francisco, which is where I left my heart. Is uh, people are, Yes? Because <laughs> you say I have no heart until, yeah, I, until I go to San Francisco. Puerto Rico, I love it. We used to vacation there, my wife and I. And if you go in August, everybody, when it's really hot there, you get a great rate on the Ritz-Carlton. It's like, and so that's my plug for Puerto Rico because the people are great, the environment, the whole thing is great. So you got to go to Puerto Rico. We love you, Puerto Rico. We got people from Florida, and so we love Florida too. I was just in Naples a couple months right before this in February. Uh, I was in Naples. I love Florida. I love the people of Florida. So thank you all for tuning in to this. What are we gonna do next? Is this? Where's my thing? Well, you're looking, oh. I'll just say for the, all those of you who are stuck at home, music is not a bad place to be. Yes. And it's been uh, for me surrounded by guitars and pianos. Uh, Every time I hear you, you you're like George is sending me tapes of him playing guitar, and, and we're hearing all that. It's always fun. So we do some. This was, yes, it's Ellington, but I think you know his alto player, Johnny Hodges, was also a co-writer on this. And so I don't know who's setting the tempo on this. Bobby is the the singer whisperer. I'm letting him go. One, two, three, I never cared much 
for moonlit skies I never wink back at fireflies But now that the stars are in your eyes I'm beginning to see the light I never went in for afterglow A candlelight on the mistletoe When to turn the lamp down low I'm beginning to see the light Used to ramble through the park Shadow boxing in the dark Then you came and caused a spark That's a four alarm fire now I never made love by lantern shine I never saw rainbows in my wine Now that your lips are burning mine I'm beginning to see the light Used to ramble through the park, shadow boxing in the dark. Then you came and caused a spark. That's a four alarm fire now. I never made love by lantern shine. I never saw rainbows in my wine. But now that your lips are burning mine, I'm beginning to see the light. I'm beginning to see the light oh, I'm beginning to see the light oh. Beginning to see the light with the great George Barrett here. We want to once again thank uh, Bobby Floyd there on the piano. We love you so much, Bobby. You are a master at this. You know, whenever I work with Bobby, I can sound horrible but he makes me sound good, no matter what you do. Thank you for your musicianship. Thank you for the great Andy Woodson and for his uh, great musicianship, too. You are truly the anchor of any band that you perform with. And, George, I'm going to impose and ask if you would just uh, grace us with one more song. What, what would this one be? Can you tell us? So uh, we're going to do uh, James Taylor's Don't Let Me Be Lonely. And uh, sort of used to playing this on guitar. It's going to be a little different. We're going to follow Bobby here. Do me wrong, won't you do me right? Tell me lies, but hold me tight. Save your goodbyes for the morning. But don't let me be lonely tonight Say goodbye and say hello Sure good to see you, but it's time to go Don't say yes, but please don't say no I don't want to be Go away, then damn you. Go on and do as you please. You ain't 
ain't gonna see me getting down on my knees. I'm undecided and your heart's been divided. Turning my world upside down. Do me wrong, won't you do me right? Tell me lies, but hold me tight. Save your goodbyes for the morning light. But don't let me be lonely tonight. gonna see me getting down on my knees undecided and your husband divided turning my world upside down do me wrong won't you do me right go on and tell me lies but That's George Barrett right there, ladies and gentlemen. On the bass, we have the great Andy Woodson. We have Bobby Floyd right there on the piano. Yours truly, my name is Byron Stripling. We hope that you'll join us here next week when we have a great surprise guest for you. But once again, please join me in thanking the great George Barrett. I want to hear your applause out there a little louder. That's it. How about a standing ovation now? <laughs> I can ask for anything, and everybody jump around and play uh, the bunny hop and uh, whatever you want to do. <laughs> but we love you all, and uh, we'll be back next week. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember to go to jazzartsgroup.org to see what we're, going, what we're doing, uh, and we will see you next time. Have a great week.